Question eight. So, got a lot of information here. Basically, we're told we've got the path of a rugby ball. So it's been kicked it's above the ground, and it's going to pop back down over here. So let's have a look, see what information we're told. Now, the key bits of information that we're told is that it reaches a maximum height of 12 metres, and it hits the ground at 0.40 metres from where it starts. I've gone up over here. So the first question says, can we find an equation, a quadratic equation, to fit this particular model? So let's have a little think about, well, we know it, obviously it goes through these two points here. So therefore, our equation here, so we're going to put it H rather than Y, because that's the letter. And what's it going to happen? Well, we know the roots, don't we? So in other words, we've got x times x minus 40. Now, what we don't know, we need to make it, to, we need to force it to go through this point here. Now, the, in, the midpoint of this is going to be 20 just there, which is, which is really key. So what we need is we need to try and force these to be the same. And the way that we do that is that we're going to sort of scale it. So we need to multiply this by some constant to make it fit this 12. So we know the x value, and obviously we know this 12 over here. So we can just do this now. So we can go 12 equals, we know this is going to be 20 just here. So let's just fill this in and see where we go. So that's going to give me 20 multiplied by minus 20 multiplied by minus 20. So from there, k has to equal, so that'd be minus 400. So k will be 12 over minus 400. So maybe if we simplify that, that's going to give me k equal to minus 3 over 100. So, okay, let's now just write the equation so it kind of makes a little bit more sense for us. So, where are we up to? So, we've got, just, just fill this in. So, we've got minus 3 over 100, and then that's going to be multiplied by x and x minus 40. Now, if we were to, we could multiply this out if we wanted to. That's fine as it is, right? That's okay. Um, kind of depends on what you're going to go and do next, really. So part B down here says, so the ball passes over a, a horizontal bar of a set of rugby posts that's perpendicular to the path of the ball. The ball is three metres above the ground. So sort of three. So the bar... It's going to be here, here. It could be anywhere here. And the question says, use your equation to find the greatest horizontal distance of the bar from here. So in other words, we need to find out this point over here. Right? That's what we're just after. So we're just going to say, when is this equal to 3? Right? That's effectively the question. So let's just jot that, that down. So when is our quadratic equal to 3? So if I multiply this out, rearrange, I can multiply both sides by 100 um, and then rearrange from there. So let's see where we go. So we've got minus... Three. I don't. I don't like that hundred there. So let's deal with that. To start off with. It just makes life a little bit easier to deal with. Um, oh look, wait a minute. I could just divide both sides by three, couldn't we? That would that would make sense. So again, just always looking to see how we can make life easier for ourselves. Let's multiply it out. Make it equal to zero. 
So minus x squared plus 40x equals 100. Um, I'm going to take everything over onto the right hand side. I always prefer if I can to have the coefficient of x squared to be positive. So minus 40x plus 100. Um, if we work that out from there, we get two answers. Okay, so I'm just going to use a quadratic formula, aren't you, from there? That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. Um, well, I suppose you could complete the square, of course. Um, it's not too difficult on this one. It's a nice number just there. So when you work it out, you're going to have two answers. And remember, we wanted one that was furthest over. So the answer has got to be our second value there. So 37.32 meters. Now, on the last bit of the question, it says give one limitation of the model. Um, there's lots of different answers that we, we could just say there. You know, what I, I don't know, we're kind of, you know, what about the spin on the ball? Um, what about this, you know, what about the wind? If the wind's making any difference, uh, what about the ground? Is it is it perfectly horizontal? Does it you know is it dropping away a little bit? Okay, we don't know exactly what that's like. Um, you know, in in the path of the ball, is it going to follow this nice, perfect, lovely shape just here? All right, so there's loads of different answers there. It's one mark as long as you get a sensible point in there.